the Trump era and is, this is also the end of the Trump militaristic era, right? So there's a couple things that are changing. Abby Martin did a great breakdown of what's going on. Uh, she does the Empire Update. Um, oh boy, there's already a nativity scene out. Uh, and it, yeah, okay, that's fine, whatever. Uh, I, I always think it's like way too early when nativity scenes show up in uh, like November before Thanksgiving and shit. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, so Trump just Trump just gave the UAE more weapons. Uh, they their UAE is basically against Iran and against um, Yemen. So it's basically like cool. You just funded a bunch. You just basically funded more war. Essentially, is 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 what happened there. Uh, and not only that, but he put more sanctions on Iran. Uh, during a pandemic, when that when when people people of these countries, why are we putting economic sanctions on any country? Period. But even during a pandemic, it's just cold and heartless. And again, if Democrats really want to fucking separate themselves, you would come out and be like, "We're lifting economic sanctions in all these countries during the pandemic." Like Venezuela has, first of all, by, by the way, Venezuela has been doing awesome during this pandemic, despite American economic sanctions. Uh, FYI, like they've their their death rates are way lower than ours. Their uh, positive rates are way lower than ours. They've been giving their people like they canceled rents. They're feeding their people better than America is, and all this with American economic sanctions on top. Imagine how better they would be doing, and and maybe we could like learn some shit from them if we weren't too busy, uh, you know tickling our own balls with the feather of American exceptionalism. That got that metaphor got weird. But, you know, Iran, uh, they put sanctions on them and they can't get medical equipment, they can't get treatments that they want. This is this is a, a violation of human rights. At this point, economic wars on these countries is a violation of human rights. It's bullshit. And this was after we assassinated one of their top military officials who was on a peace mission in Iraq and we fucking blew him up and assassinated him. And then we were like, we got the big terrorist guy and they were like, this guy was a fucking general that bailed out America and Syria a bunch of different times. So, what happened after that? So, and then, you know, he fired one of the Raytheon lobbyists uh, that wanted to, you know, and, and that that was like pro continuing the war in Afghanistan, and everybody's like, "Oh my God, is he going to pull troops out of Afghanistan?" And then he put an even bigger fucking neocon in in place. That is just like, yo, I'm, like he didn't say this literally, but he might as well have. Uh, this guy Miller, basically, you know, I'm super paraphrasing here, is is basically the kind of guy that's like. Afghanistan needs to be a fucking parking lot made out of glass. Blah, blah, blah. Like, that's the guy that he put into place. So that's not ending anytime soon. This guy wants to keep the war going. Uh, And then there's a a general by the name of General McGregor who's basically calling to leave. He's like, we got to get the fuck out of there. Why are we even there? We shouldn't be there, period. Uh, But... There are Trump generals that want that want to stay, and you know they're talking about why they need modest troops in uh, in Iraq, Syria, Yemen, and Afghanistan. They need modest troops, you know, just your average modest troop that's just like hanging out, and talking about like helping the community. They're raking leaves for the people, you know. They're they're playing soccer with the kids. They're helping them out with their tutoring and their math and shit. While they have fucking M16s wrapped around their chest. But the coup de grace of all this comes from uh, Mike Pompeo, uh, America's most deadly care bear. Uh, he, claims, he claims that America will uphold and respect human rights, uh, which is a lie because look at what they've been doing to Julian Assange. Mike Pompeo fucking hates Julian Assange and has, and has basically kept this dude uh, in a state of constant torture. 
over a bullshit extradition for revealing how uh, the the CIA under Mike Pompeo was violating the Constitution and spying on its own people. How can you say that you will uphold human rights when you are in a constant state of endless war? Just all, all the time. Just killing a bunch of people. Putting economic sanctions on countries during a pandemic. You can't make that statement. This is not... This is, you, you have zero grounds for moral superiority in this situation. How can you say that you're, you're, you're going to stand up for human rights when you have police brutality at your home, militarist, militarized police at your home that have waged a war on the people, that have waged a war on people of color for decades? You can't. Mike Pompeo might be the greatest liar of all time. And it, 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 it's, it's truly sad when people just fall for that shit and think he's awesome because he's fucking not. Uh, and this is not the end of it. Biden's going to do the same thing. There, there's going to be, con- you know, more, continue continuation of the endless wars, more funding of these countries, the these these pro-Israel, anti-Iran, anti-Syria countries. We're going to try to escalate a war with Iran itself. We're going to try to escalate a war with Venezuela and, and Bolivia. Biden is not progress. Not even close. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed the content in this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. My content is highly suppressed because this is not topics of conversation that uh, that the corporate mainstream media really wants to 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 address here. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, sign up for my email list. Uh, and that way you'll get weekly uh, uh, emails with all of the podcasts and all of the videos that I put out there. Um, and make sure you go to my website and follow me there, uh, krishmohanhaha.com. That's going to be your one-stop shop for all things Krish Mohan. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. See you in the next video.